Hello, this is Myron Mixon. Thank you for taking the time to watch the following product video. Backyard, competition, or commercial. We have a full range of smokers. And guess what? Every one we make is made right here in the US of A. And remember this, mastering the pit, it starts today. Thank you. I'm Myron Mixon at Myron Mixon Smokers. And today, I'm gonna to talk to you about how Vulcan Series Gravity Feed Smoker is truly a set it and forget it cooker. We're gonna talk about four things. We're gonna talk about starting the fire. We're gonna talk about filling the water pan. We're gonna talk about controlling temp. And we're gonna talk about introducing smoke. All four of these things are important for this smoker, but once you have all that down, they're easy to do. Our V33 Vulcan, along with our V9 and our V20, all have the water pan. The water pan is an added step. It keeps moisture inside that cook chamber where well, that meat's gonna wind up moist and juicy when we get through the cooking process. Unlike our other units, the way we fill these is just like what I did. You would take a leather glove or your heat glove, bring the tray out just long enough to add water. These gravity feeds run best with an electronic temperature control fan. Even though you can run them with just a ball valve, Using the electronic temperature control fan, you want to take your alligator clip, you clip that lead to one of your wire racks, preferably right here close where your external temperature gauge comes through the door. What that's going to do is going to help the unit over here monitor what the internal temperature of the pit is. Then you will take the meat probe lead. It goes and inserts into the meat that you're cooking, whether it's brisket, Let's just say we're doing pork butts. We want to take our pork butts to 200 degrees internal. We place that in there. We've got water in our pan. We've got it smoking. We'll shut the door. Now, we've got our leads hooked up on our rack. We've got our internal temperature lead inserted in our meat. If we want our temperature internally to be on our pork butt when done, it'll be set on 200. And when it hits that temperature, It'll give you an alarm, let you know it's time to take it off. How easy is that? Step around here and let me show you. You want to screw the adapter in, open that valve wide open. You take the fan unit itself, you plug it in. Now, this little box right here is where those leads come out of and go in here to the cabinet. One side of it goes over to the clip onto the rack. It's gonna monitor our internal temperature of our pit. Then the other lead is gonna go inside the meat itself. The leads, they leave our monitor, go through a port, just right here on this side, but we have another port, identical to that one, right on this side. So it just depends on wherever you want your monitor to go. Now, we got our monitor, we set it what we want it to be, we're ready to go. But before you can do all of that, you gotta know how to light this thing off. This right here is your charcoal chute. This is where you put your briquettes or you put your lump charcoal. Gravity takes it down as it burns. The way we light it off, you start out and you get your chimney started right here, your charcoal starter. You get one, one fill of it hot and ready. Once it's done, you pour it inside your chute. Then you fill it up with your briquettes or your lump charcoal. Bring it down, latch it tight. And what that does, when that charcoal starts burning, as it burns, it falls down through these grates right into this pan right here. If 
Now we have moved away from doing just charcoal. You ready to step up and get your feet wet? Try and infuse some of that real wood flavor. Charcoal's good, but it ain't nothing like wood. What you want to do, you got your fire going, charcoal's dropping coals. Take you a few chunks, throw them down there in your tray. Shut your door. Now, charcoal's gonna drop. It's gonna hit that wood. It's gonna start smoking. Smoke goes through the cook chamber, permeates the meat, gives you what it is. Real smoke barbecue.